Hello everyone, welcome back to Hypermine. Done some work and we've got some stuff to do today. We're gonna do a mix of Blood Magic and Ars Magica again, I think. So first off, you can see that I've moved things over here. And we're gonna start with doing some Ars Magica. So the first thing I wanted to do was uh, make it so I could do Blood Magic easier. So I learnt this regeneration spell, which took a while just grinding out levels. And we've got the book here ready to learn. The problem is we need this essence to make it. Now for the essence, if we go into my book. Oh yeah, I killed a new thing, little dark thing in the never a little while ago. It looks quite cool. So I've got that uh, transformation. But to get essence we need to build a altar or nexus even. So we've got three different ones. We can make the light, the dark or the essence. Um, essence will create the neutral one that we need but we need um, essence block below it so we're going to pass on that one for now because that one's limited we're going to make a light nexus first because that will give us just infinite um, power really uh, da -da 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 -da. Light, light nexus so only charge during the day unless I put moonstone caps on the top of it just there moonstone blocks uh, but we're going to do it with can you do glowstone? No, it has to be gold, diamonds, glass, or what's it? Okay, we'll do diamonds then. It's got a lot of diamonds. Okay, so we'll make this quartz into... Uh, we need one more. I want to keep that as quartz just in case. So then we need four blocks of this. And we're just going to go the whole hog straight off the bat. Right, so we've got these. I'm going to come over here and quickly make it so it's one two one two one two one two oh ooh, ooh. I need to clear that I may need to clear these leaves out from the top because I think it needs to be exposed to sunlight okay so that's the structure now what we need to do is put this chalk thing in the middle so we need white chalk the link isn't going to give me so I've got to go look for it white chalk Okay, so we need some arcane ash, we need an arcane compound, so we need this stuff. And I think I have all of that apart from Neverack. So that's a quick flight over to the Never. So yeah, so the white chalk we need. White dye is easy enough, clay is easy enough, flint is easy enough, paper is easy enough. And then we just need the Neverack. Okay, so the tree's coming along. That's going to look quite cool actually having something sticking out of it. So far everything's sort of encased. See, that's our first sign of magic. Uh, I've unlocked some new morphs. So one of the ones I've got uh, is the Light Mage. And I'm definitely going to use that, especially since Armitage seems to be blocking a Dark Mage morph. So we have competition when it comes to the world of magic. Right, let's grab a few of these. Uh, switch to my non-fortune pick. Plus this one seems to mine a little quicker due to the random stat stuff. Uh, let's get a few more, just so we don't need to come back for a little while. Okay, so the Nevers pretty uh, usual for Biomes of Plenty. Haven't really seen much new stuff in there that I haven't before on other modded servers, so not too much to cover there. Right, so let's get this compound made. I'm still using the lava crystal for smelting, which is being pretty cool. Okay, so what do we need? We need. Uh, two redstone, two glowstone, and two stone. Two glowstone, two redstone, and two smooth stone. And if I do this, okay, there's no, I, got, I can't, I keep forgetting that there's no uh, shift click function in this. You have to sort of do it manually, which is a bit annoying. Uh, the wrong way around as well, I bet. There we go. One arcane compound, we'll stick it in there. So if we look at my life source again you can still see I've got four nine four nine to blow. Uh this over here is I didn't show this last time, it's just where I go and plant all my essence berries. It's cause it's dark, but mobs can't spawn on can't spawn on the gra uh leaves even. So that's useful to have there. Right, okay. Ooh, we get two. So then we need Okay, flay, flint and white dye. Got flint. I uh, don't think I have any clay. Clay, flint, pa 
paper, white dye. Okay, we've got paper. That's all that in there. Now I just need to go get a little bit of uh, clay. So I think I'll cut away because I don't know if there's any, if they've all been mined out. I'll be back once I got it made. Okay, we've got our chalk. Ah, we've got a new kudo entry for it as well. Awesome. Let's see what that is. That'll probably just be chalks. Oh, there, crystal wrench. Chris Rent says purpose it can use to conduit raw assets for your power networks. Right click. Da, 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 da. So, yeah, we're going to have to make one of those. They're quite easy. Good. But let's get this made up first. Hello, chicken. Boop. There we go. Alright, used it. All right, so, now this should be generating power. Now, let me just check if there's a way to see how much power is on them. So, we have the light nexus. Uh, drawing S's on it, so it will serve to increase the purity of an area. It requires no living soul around it, it just constantly generates power at a steady trickle. You can upgrade it with gold and diamonds, eventually moonstone, to be more powerful. The power it provides causes the machines to run slower, but often provides additional benefits. Okay, so I don't see any way to check how much essence I got in there. I am going to need to sleep though as well, so we can make it daytime. Otherwise, it's not going to get anything. I'm to just still on, but we got the whole 50% people sleeping thing. Oh, there we go. That appears to be working. Sweet. But at the moment, that's creating a light essence, I believe, rather than pure essence. So, what does it say? I don't know if it does. But right, I need to make this crystal wrench next to pair it up. So, I need three bits of iron. It's four bits of iron, I can't count. One Vintium Dust, one Desert Nova, one Blue Orchid. And the uh, Desert Nova and Blue Orchids I've just found by running around, really. Alright, so. D d d d there we go, one Crystal Wrench. Now. If I right click on you, we should get a little beam. There's the beam. And if I think I click on that, they should be paired up. Hopefully. I hope that's how it works. So this is going to now be absorbing magic. I'm quickly going to just put on a high spell and light these up just to make it look cool. Hey, you got a level as well. Sweet. I want to use my mana because apparently while I'm standing in this, yeah, my mana recharge is quicker it seems. I don't know, maybe I'll just reach a new level of Gen. Ah, I didn't get a talent this time though. That's a shame. But yeah, let me just check that's not going to spawn anything. Yep, we're good. We're good. Right, so now that's done, we can get this essence. I believe it might currently be neutral essence. We need neutral essence, so I might need to do another stage which involves. Ah, uh, gotta find it now. Uh, da -da -da -da. Crystal pillar? Nope. It's a essence conduit, that's the one. So that is just stone and chimerite. Yep, so that should be too easy enough to make. So let's grab some of this stone just so I can use it up and a good bit of chimerite. Whoops. And go like this. Get rid of that and put that there. Sweet. Okay, so we've got a new coda entry again. We're getting quite a lot today. And the new one would be for the foci. Foci are used inside specific Ars Magic machines to change the rate of function. So I can make these foci, so that's like for that. So for an essence conduit, this will increase the rate of which deficit is shed over time. So I could do things like that. But if we put that, say, there, that looks quite cool. Get our wrench. I want to link this. Okay, that's not going to work. Okay, I need to link this to this and then link that to that. I think that's how it works. So now that's where you put your uh, folk eyes. This should hopefully drain me some essence. So I'm going to gather the materials I need to make this uh, spell and I'll give that a go. Okay, guys, I've got all the materials in here and there's just one thing I want to do first, which is place down a mana battery. Now what this should do, if I get my crystal wrench and put it into there, hopefully that should now gain power from the light altar. Now that will let me see exactly how much I've got. 
if it's collecting it and so on and so forth. So I want to get rid of these just to be on the safe side because I'm a bit worried I may not actually be getting any essence yet and that would not be a good thing. So I want to make sure 100% that this is working before I try and do anything with it. There's sparks coming off them so I assume it's doing something. Right, let's clear out all these leaves then. Just sit there, gone. Right, so start with that one and work down. Right, so we need to clear out one, two. And I'm also going to have to sleep again in a second because it's going to be night. It's a bit annoying I'm having to clear out such a big area for this one structure, but hopefully it will be worth it. Right, now if you suddenly start working, I'll be very happy. But I want to be able to visibly see it functioning. So let's get some sleep. Oh, that's my face. That's my face again. Right. Okay, I'm up. Let's get rid of these just to be safe, I think. Just in case they're blocking the essence flow. Right. So now, as far as I can tell, this should... What if I go via here? So if we link that to there. Nope. Okay, this is one thing I always struggled with um, Ars Magica, is getting these essences to work. So what I'm going to do is going to cut away to make sure I get it 100% working before I try to do the spell and waste materials, so I will get that sorted in a second. Okay, the solution actually seemed really simple, I just needed to read this fully. The last sentence, uh, they can request power from Nexus or another battery when given a red sense signal, so we turn that on, you can see little balls of light jumping over here, so at 4%, going up quite slow but it's going up. So we're going to now link this into here, I believe that should work, I'm not sure if it did because it didn't stop glowing, let's turn that off, hopefully that will work, so 4.4% and I don't actually know how much that is, so how much does it hold, doesn't say, but we need 500 essence. So for I'm gonna wait till that gets to five percent. In the meantime, let's grab please I have an emerald in here. I do not. Okay, right. So the next thing I'm gonna do is basically upgrade my blood magic with the altar. So while that's building up uh, some essence we can go do that. So the now I've got my uh, I upgraded my altar in the last episode to be a rank 2 altar. I can make a new blood orb. To do that I need to get a emerald though. And I know there's some emerald ores down in my mine, which is why we're heading down here. Now that I could do that we can also um, kill some things. Um, kill the things to test it out. And there's also just, and we can make a rune. Rune of Sacrifice. Got sacrifice and self-sacrifice. Right. And basically what those do is allow, if I put them around my altar, they'll make it so... Where are those emeralds? So when I hurt myself, uh, I gain extra LP for each hit. There we go. Hey, we got three. Nice. Sweet. That will hold us for a while. Now if I make the Rune of Sacrifice, they will let me basically get more L LP for my pain because <laughs> I do go through quite a bit of pain so let me just check how much blood uh, essence I got sorted out okay we can do that once more okay we're nearly capped let's shoot up here let's do it in bat mode because it's nice and quick and we're going to stick a emerald in the altar and that will give us the next rank of uh, blood orb and the reason it's got to be we can only do this now and I didn't start with an emerald is you need the rank to alter so there it is Quite nice and full. I'm just going to throw that in there. Watch it sparkle away. Then we're going to test killing some chickens to recharge the altar as well. So let's go grab my knife, which I left in here from last time. The dagger of sacrifice. This will hopefully let me kill those chickens for some quick boost of LP. All right. Let's get that back down on my bar so I can just check. So it's draining its capacity. How much does it need to actually do? It doesn't say. So this may take a little while 
then we're going to kill those chickens. Because so apparently if I kill things just near it, I should get 250 LP per chicken. Which is about as much as... a bit more than when I hurt myself, so that'd be good. Uh, there we go. So now we have the Apprentice Blood Orb. Meaning I can now have... Yeah, even more life force. So I'm going to keep that one in the storage. Right, so now if we look at this, we're at 5000 LP. Time to test this out. Right, come out. One at a time. Ooh, was that not close enough? No, okay. So they need to be closer. Uh, I'm going to grab some seeds then to lure them. Okay, I need to throw out something. Uh, I don't need flint. There we go. Tasty seeds for chickens. Tasty, tasty seeds. Right, so now you're standing on there. Die. And die. There we go. So we're seeing it sparkle this time. Which I'm going to do shoe means it's working. There we go. So we've got 550 now. Awesome. So is it, are you close enough? No. Okay, so they've got to be really close. Okay. So maybe if I expand the altar, the radius it works expands as well. But you know, for now, that's gonna have to stay as is. Okay, let's get rid of this junk that's filling up my inventory, and then we can finish off the day. Right. So uh, just freeing up some slots. That should just about do it. Right. So now, how much essence have we got? We're up to six point eight. Hopefully, that's enough. So we're gonna start the spell off. Get this all stuff out of the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right. So, as always, throw in the blank rune and let's get started. We need the Alm, Vintim Dust. Uh, so let's focus. That's the essence. So if I turn that on. You're meant to draw it from here into there. You don't seem to want to be doing that. What if I go straight from here into there? Okay, maybe this one needs to go through the essence conduit. Okay, so you. Oh, you go into there. And you go into there. Does that work? Ah, I've got a new one. Hmm. This is sparkling more than usual, but doesn't appear to be doing what I want. So you into there. Let's turn you off for a second. Turn you back on. Hey, that didn't actually switch. What the hell? It's very weird. It's not seeming to know what's going on. Right, so let's give that into there. Let's get rid of this because it doesn't seem to be working. This is what I mean by. I needed to work out what the issues would be here. So the switch just doesn't want to work anymore. <laughs> oh, why is this happening? It's just flicking on and off. Right. Turn you back on. Let's clear that. I don't see why it wouldn't be able to gain energy though. Because they're connected. What if I put that there? Connect that to that. Connect that to that. Connect that to that. That's all I can. Why is this not working? I've done this before and I have got it to work. It just doesn't seem to want to. Right, so that's. I'm going to try and figure this out, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, in a last ditch attempt, I've changed this to a essence ulcer. You should hopefully use neutral essence. And yes, it worked. We got enough essence from that. Sweet. So just under there is some um, essence stuff on the floor. So hopefully that will serve us good. And I might have to make a essence um, thing separately now though. So there we go. We've got our regen spell, which we're gonna use to look like something cool and healy. So probably one of those ones back there, because it's not a shield. Yep, let's go with one of these. Just the light one for now. So if I cast that on myself, it gives us 11 seconds of regenerate 2 while on that. 
Well, on superpower. Mana cost is. Oh, yeah, because it. Whoa! That maxed my burnout. That'd be why it costed so much. Right, so let's put that on my book as well. And then let's see how long it gives me regen 1 for. Okay, so they're both 11 seconds. One just gives me regen 1, one gives me regen 2. And you can see down here, it's giving me a new sort of um, affinity, which is quite cool. But yeah, I'm going to probably build. Turn this back into a light essence because it's exposed to the sky. Move this one somewhere else nearby so I can get both sorts of essence. But I'm going to end here because it's uh, been going on for a little while now. Work and stuff I've got to do. So thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. And I'll see you all next time. Toodles.